Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards, and this is Be Still and Know, an opportunity for us to listen to the Bible together and to hear what God is saying to us today. John chapter 8, verse 7. Jesus said, Let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. By this time, Jesus had become a deeply controversial person in Jerusalem, and the Pharisees and teachers of the religious law were looking for a way to trap him. They brought to him a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. Presumably, they also caught a man at the same time, but interestingly, we don't hear anything about him. The religious leaders reminded Jesus that according to the law of Moses, anyone who committed adultery should be stoned to death. They wanted to know Jesus' response. It was a clever trap, because if Jesus suggested that he disagreed with the Mosaic law, they would have had all the proof they needed that he was a heretic. But if he took a hard line and encouraged the stoning of this woman, his reputation for kindness and compassion would be shattered, and he would also have run into difficulties with the Romans, who were proud of their exclusive right to execute people. Jesus' response was incredibly wise, saying nothing he stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. We have no idea what he wrote, but he clearly frustrated the religious leaders who were desperate for an answer that would trap him. His brilliant response was that the one who was sinless should throw the first stone. Then one by one the woman's accusers slipped away. John notes, fascinatingly, that it was the oldest who left first, suggesting that they had the greater awareness of their own sin. Once everyone had left, Jesus asked the woman where her accusers were. Didn't even one of them condemn you? he asked. No, Lord, she replied, to which Jesus responded, Neither do I. Go and sin no more. Jesus wasn't in any way suggesting that what the woman had done was okay. He identified it as sin and told her not to continue in it. The woman must have been amazed by the grace and gentleness of Jesus, which stood in sharp contrast with the harshness of her accusers. Jesus wasn't condoning her sin or treating it lightly, but he was lovingly encouraging her to live a life in line with God's will. Let me pray with you. Lord Jesus, forgive us for the times when we have been harsh and judgmental of others. Help us to reflect your loving heart in all that we say and do. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know. You can hear it on Premier Christian Radio or Premier Praise every morning or on podcast at any time. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash Voice of Hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a great day.